Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohan Athanari. The channel fully focused on the bio statistics related video post on the channel. If you like the channel video, click to the subscription button. Let's go to the video. Now we are the discussion topic. How to analyze canonical correspondent analysis in pan statistical software. So what is a canonical correspondent analysis? Canonical correspondent analysis is a multivariated statistical technique used primary in ecological to understand the relationship between the species distributions and environmental variables. CCA is an extension of correspondent analysis and is particularly useful for analyzing ecological data as it allow the researchers to examine how the biological communities vary in response to the environmental gradients. The key features of canonical correspondent analysis multivariate analysis CCA handles multiple response variable example species abundance and multiple explanatory variables for example, environmental factors. MAG it is a powerful tool for ecological studies. A linear relationship. It assumes linear relationship between the species and environmental variables, which can simplify the interpretation of the result. Data transformations. CCA typically recurs that response the data species abundance are transformed to account for a difference in sample size and distributions often using method like Hellinger or I square transformations. Gradient analysis CCA is particularly effective in identifying gradient in species composition and how those gradients are influenced by environmental factors. The interpretation of CCA, the result of CCA are present in the form of by plots where both species and environmental variables are plotted in shared space, allowing for easy visual interpretation of a relationship. So, the canonical how to canonical analysis in past statistical software. Let's go to the video section. Now open the past statistical software. So the data already entered in the past statistical software. Uh, we take for the five environmental parameters such as the pH, salinity, DOEC and DDS. The total 15 abundant species. The total uh, we take the samples for the total five sites. So the site name for the L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. So the now how to analyze the CCA in past statistical software before the select the whole the data click to the select all button and go to the multivariate options select the ordination and select to the canonical correspondence. So the number of environmental variables we take for the total number of environmental variables is a 5 the pH salinity DO EC DDS. So they enter the value for the number of environmental variable in 5. So then click to the OK button. Now created for the canonical correspondent analysis. This is for the scatter plot in the CCA. So the next one for the score for the scatter plot value. So this is scatter plot and value for the scatter plot score value. So the total 15 species and 5 location and 5 environmental variables. So the uh, total of the table present in the four axes. So the scatter plot for the x axis and y axis. So present for the each for the four axes. So x axis present in the x1, which select to the axis to the change to the x2. So the y is uh, x2, x is x2. Change to the x3 and x4. So the compare to the x4 and x2 so selected for the standard x1 and y is a x2 so next click to the checkbox for the group label and select to the triplet options 
so the green line for the enormous variable and blue the species and black for the locations so the next one for the tab the score plot for the scatter plot and next one for the eigen values so the four axes and present the value for the eigen value tables so the fourth one for the permutation value so the click to the compute button the calculate for the permutation value uh, in pan statistical software so this is for the graph and this is for the value for the eigen value and permutation value so the continue part of the interpretation of canonical correspondence analysis so interpretation of canonical correspondence analysis cca this is for the graph uh, the canonical correspondence analysis cca plot illustrate the relationship between the enormous variables such as for the salinity ph ec do and dds and the species distributions in the study area the first two axes explain the majority of variations in the species distributions with axis 1 and axis 2 capturing in the major gradients the enormous variables are represented as vector in the plot with their direction and length indicating the strength and directions of their influence on species distributions among the enormous variable salinity ph and ec appear to have the strong influence on the species distributions in indicated by the longer arrow those factor the dds and do so the dds and uh, do also contribute but to a lesser extent as reflected by the scatter vector species such as species 14 species 1 species 3 13 and species 10 are presented for along the passive side of axis 1 so this is axis 1 area so the species 14 and species 1 species 13 and species 10 so also the uh, positive area present in the axis 1 this is axis 1 is a negative area the suggest of those species are adapted to or there in enormous with evaluated salinity and total dissolved salts conversely species like 4 and species 5 this is uh, species 4 and this is species 5 and species 8 located in the negative side of axis 1 so this is the negative side appear to the proper environmental with lower salinity and connectivity levels axis 2 is associated with the factor like dissolved oxygen do and ph and species such as species 2 species 6 and species 7 are distributed toward the upper side of the axis 2 so this is the upper side they indicate that the those species must be more sensitive to or influenced by the dissolved oxygen level and ph in contrast the species 3 and species 11 are positioned near the center of plot suggesting a more general tolerance to environmental gradients so the next one for the table this is for the table canonical correspondent analysis cca eigen value and percentage of variation explained so the four axes present and eigen value and constantly in inertia and total number of inertia This eigen value associated with the first four canonical axes as present in the table 1. The indicate the amount of variation in species composition that is explained by the respective axis. The first two axes capture a substantial portions of the variations explaining the 49.27 uh, percentage and uh, 
33.41 percentage of the construction inertia respectively the combined those the two axes account for the total the two axes 82.68 percentage of the variation in species environmental relationship suggesting the primary gradient in the data are well respected that the first two dimension of CCA axis 1 has the highest eigenvalue 0 0.28545 explaining the 48.87 percentage of the total inertia indicating that the represent the most significant gradient influence species distributions environmental variable such as salinity and ec seem to correlate strongly with those axes access to contribute an additional 33.14 percentage of total inertia further Indicating the species environmental relationship along gradient potential associated with the pH and dissolved oxygen. The third and fourth axis explain the relative small portion of the variations 11.19 percentage and 6.136 percentage of the construction inertia respectively. This axis may represent more subtinal environmental gradients or noise in the data that are less impact of impact for explaining the species distributions. The overall the first two axes dominate the CCA result and those interpretation of species environmental relationship are primarily derived by those gradient. So the next one for the table 2 permutation test for the canonical correspondent analysis. The permutation test evaluated the statistical significance of the relationship between the species distribution and the measured environmental variables. A trust value of the 0 0.5794 this is a trust value with the p value of 0 0.716 suggesting that the overall model is not statistically significant at the conversional alpha level of 0 0.05 meaning the relationship between the species composition and the environmental gradients may not be strong or distance for the individual axis the axis 1 an eigenvalue of 0 0.2855 with a alpha value of 0 0.825 indicating that the variation explained by the first axis is not statistically significant. Similarly, axis 2 so a p value of 0 0.723 axis 3 a p value of 0. 683 and axis 4 a p value of 0 0.598 none of which are statistically at the 0 0.05 level the those results suggest that the patterns observed in the cca plot may not represent strong species environmental relationship that can be a diagnostic from the random noise the lack of significant must reflect the need for more data. A better selection of the environmental variable or the presence of complex ecological interactions that are not easily captured by CCA in the case. While the eigenvalue and inertia indicate the amount of variation explained by each axis. The high p value from the permutation test 
imply that the variation is not statistically robust. The conclusion part of the CCA, the canonical correspondent analysis revealed that the salinity, pH and electrical connectivity where the primary environmental variable influence the species distributions as reflect the first two axes which explained a substantial portion of total variations 82.68 percentage. However, the permutation test result indicated that those relationships were not statistically significant p higher than 0 0.05 suggesting that the observed species environmental association should be due to random variations or other unmeasured factor. Therefore, while the CCA provide useful insights into potential environmental gradients spacing the species distributions, further investigation with additional data or alternative analysis approach may be necessary to confirm those patterns. Okay, this is for the what is the canonical correspondent analysis and how to analyze the canonical correspondent analysis in past statistical software and interpretation of the canonical correspondent analysis. If you have any doubt on this section, post the comments in the comment box. I will help you. And if you like this video, click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership. Thank you for watching this video.